Good afternoon, YouTube. We're here on the southbound 103 at PCH, and we have this uh, tractor trailer with the container combo that uh, rolled over. You can see the skid marks here. So speed was definitely a factor, and uh, possibly one of the tires uh, blew out as well. So you could see the the cap right there just tore off. We have Spider here in truck five. We have Flipper. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend my outriggers. We have Hulk back there, but uh, we don't have Josh today. Uh, Josh welcomed uh, a new baby boy, Aries. So uh, for the moment he will, he will be in uh, bonding time. So Castro's manning uh, Hulk now, so. Hold it, let me check. Hold it. A little bit more forward. Poquito. Hey Spider, before you connect to it, move over your truck about five feet, no? Okay. That way when you pick it up, it slides it over. That way we don't land on the truck. I'll let you know. So I'm just gonna position Spider. So as you can see, the, the tractor uh, is pretty much angled this way, which will, uh, by the time that uh, Spider equalizes, it will land on top of the outrigger. So by him being off center, by the time that he picks up, it will shift the tractor over about five feet wherever his line of action on the boom is. see the driver anywhere. I will ask right now the CHP if he was transported. Just to get the approximate weight. Walk over to CHP. As you can notice as you know as you notice the the off ramp obviously is very 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 a uh, very steep curb. So when uh, when uh, weight is a well, who knows the weight? But when the speed is a factor, when you mean it's taking so fast, they definitely roll over. Do you know the approximate weight of the container? He said it was about twenty thousand pounds. Since oh, it was full. It was full. Okay. Yeah, full of food. Though. Oh, full of food. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. Okay, just want to know what's in it. Thank you, man. Yeah, you can free spool them. I already, these I already did, but those other ones I don't need to, right? No, no, all you have to do is just make sure at, as you're going up, just too? go down with them. Yeah, that way they don't bind. Okay. Yeah, not all of it, just whatever you... 
pretty much just go like a 40 degrees blow out and then you can release from there okay. all right hey youtube i just had to jump in really quick on this one um to address something i've been dying at the comments saying where's josh what happened to josh is josh still there i made alex a star of the show and for a good reason man that guy's that guy's awesome that guy's a fast learner and as you guys can tell he can tackle any job I mentioned, if you guys are a fan of the channel, that I was having a kid, a baby boy. Well, he came July the 5th. Today's the 19th. So I've been, you know, staying at home dad, paternity leave, if you will, um, with that. So it's been uh, it's been crazy, the whole dad life again and work and still doing the work from home thing. So I got my laptop, iPad here with me. I slept at the shop once a week to pick up Alex's footage. And there's one more thing I want to mention. It's something I, I use every day and it's funny because uh, a couple years ago I mentioned them in a video when someone asked what do I do for food when I'm out there for 12 hours at a time on a job and I got hit up by HelloFresh recently so I use them all the time I have it at the shop we got a kitchen there and then here that I'm working from home with the kid it's amazing it's awesome foolproof recipes they send you a box to your for me for example every Monday I get a big old box with my meals that I selected uh, right now I'm doing a high protein one and that's how we stay in shape You'll notice a lot of guys at the shop, we're all fit, we work out. This is one way we do it is we get the meals, we cook them, and then we can put them in our Tupperware when we make a lot. It's awesome, you know, to track your stuff if you do the whole macro thing. You know, they're foolproof step-by-step -step cooking instructions, and I'm a horrible cook, and even I can do these. Uh, for example, today I had Old Bay shrimp and sausage boil, and then tomorrow on my lineup I have family-style grill lettuce steak wraps. Easy, easy, easy. I can do it all while the wife recovers. Um, of course, got to wait till the baby falls asleep, but it's easy. Like I said, foolproof. You get like 50 recipes if you go on their site right now. You can customize it whether you're into low carb or just maintaining. It's, it's just, it's fun. Do it with the family. It's an experience. I've been, my two-year-old daughter, Karamia, I've been teaching her how to do it and she loves to do it. Give me the little recipe books. And then again, working from home and brand new dad, you know, not being able to go out. It's not so bad because we get free appetizers with my stuff. I signed up on their free appetizers for life program when you sign up and they're running that promo right now. It's not even something I'm exaggerating. Free appetizers for life. Who does not like appetizers? So just click the link in my description. I'm going to throw it down there and you get 10 free meals and free appetizers for life if you sign up using my personal code. It's one appetizer item per box while your subscription is active if you're in the U.S. Outside the U.S., uh, the local discount supply, whatever those are at the time, but link is in the description. Check it all out. I use it every single day. Alex uses it. I'm going to get my dad on it. So pretty soon he's going to be buffer than Alex and I combined. And see you guys in the front seat of Hulk very, very soon. Peace. The is already picking up, see? As he picks up, it slides over the, the tractor. So by the time that we roll it, it'll equalize and be directly with this boom head, which will be right, right there. As I pick it up, I could pretty much slide it by booming in or out and playing with my cables. That's perfect. Good job, Spider!
now I'll pretty much get one of my rings. So I need two of these for the top portion. You need this one, mijo. You wanna use yours? Yeah, you will put this one on top. Okay. I'll take this one to my side. And then you're gonna utilize one of these for the bottom. And then one for me, and then I'll give you the strap. Okay, so this one goes on the bottom where it's on the ground. Yeah, right and then you're gonna we're gonna run a, a platinum sling from there, from the now, bottom the, to the, the top. The two ones that I have, which one goes on top? The right one, right? The right cable goes on top. Yeah, so the one on so on yours it would be the blue cable. The blue cable will be on top, and the white cable will be the one running down. Okay. Here, you need one of these too. Okay. Oh. That's gonna be for the strap. I'll give you the strap right now. Okay. On the bottom, yeah. So I put this with that where that flat part is at, and then the other one goes yeah. on the bottom. On this side, right? Yeah. This so one. This goes on this flat part, right? Yeah. This goes like here. That. Uh huh. That and goes like as a container. In the container. And then that one goes on top there. And then this goes on the other side. This one goes on that side, yeah. All right. Thank here you. Here you go, mijo. Remove some of this brush so I can access that uh, that hole. So this one goes on this on the strap side. This comes here. Then the pin goes through. My nut goes right there. Cool. For this portion, this goes here. Sling shackle. That one goes there. Yes. There's this I'm gonna jump. Cool. Spider's taking off the drive line. Since it's on its side, it's a lot easier to take off. All you have to ensure is that uh, the drive line has a little bit of play because if it's tight, that means there's tension on the differential. So when you take it off, that tension has to go somewhere. And normally that goes out, hits your face, and it's not pretty. <laughs> Connect this for for Castro. This one goes over here, mijo. Huh? This one goes over here. Uh, so which one you want up there again? Uh, I want this one in here. So swing over this way. The opposite way. There you go. Right there. So I want this one here. Just go down with the boom. 
right there. It's free spool, right? Oh yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah it is. Go ahead, go up a little bit. Boom up. Hold it. I need that one now. All right, got it. Move over this way a little bit. Right there. More, more. Right there. Start booming up. Alright, go ahead and uh, retract the boom in. Boom up. <laughs> boom in. Boom up a little bit more. Okay, hold it right there. Lock your uh, winches. <coughs> okay, hold it. Now I'm white. Okay, hold it. Now it's my turn to set up a flipper. Hulk is pretty much uh, set up. So pretty much, if you if you can see the how Hulk is set up, we have the boom up high. And pretty much where the boom head lies, that's pretty much where the center of the container should land. So first, by the time that we roll it over, the tires will be on the floor. We'll pretty much center our boom and go up with it in case if we need to adjust. But it should land, uh, obviously, right before the outriggers. And with mine, it's a little bit more intricate because I'm a lot closer to it just because of the way the turn is. I had to be off on the, on the shoulder. Um, I will pick up and pretty much extend out so I could shift over the container and not land on the outriggers and damage my truck. Hey Spider, can you lock my uh, free spools, please? Thank you.
Just let me throw up the drone, mijo. Huh? Let me throw up the drone. Okay, so now before we do the upright, one thing I normally religiously do is I always check that my pins are locked. Because one uh, thing that we could, what we do by connecting to the top is the moment we start bringing over, if this one is loose, especially the bottom one, it's imperative that it's locked. Just because by the time it's coming up, if it's loose, it will separate from the chassis and we'll upright this and the chassis will stay on the ground, which will uh, serve no purpose. So the rear ones look locked. Now let me check these. Yep, I see a pin and I see a pin up there. We're good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go up with cables first? Yeah, first we go up with cables. We'll start the bringing it up to first? a 45, yeah. Yours, you don't, you, you see how your boom head is at? Yeah. It's directly down there in the center. Okay. So by the time that you're pulling over, as long as you're keeping a- uh, Catch, a good- Catch, good. so what I do is that normally I keep tension on both cables, just bringing it up, bringing it up. By the time it starts going out of 45, then I start increasing uh, pressure on the white one. And on the blue one, I start releasing little by little. So okay. that way there's always tension constantly. And I'll be doing my truck's a lot slower than yours, so follow my lead. I will because if you do it like that, then mine's gonna get loose and Fuck shit up. and it's gonna fucking swing on us, okay? okay? I know when you go to road. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just waiting for spider. Well, as you can see, a spider is um, securing the drive line. I'll give you a 360 of the, of the casualties. Speed and uh, failure of the tire was uh, definitely a factor. Single lane highway. Yeah, it blew out. It was probably going really fast and it, it overloaded away. that rear tire and boom. The blue first. Yeah, I'll be right here with you. Okay. We'll stand right here. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Make it through the front. Huh? Yeah, go with your cables in. Cables in? Yeah. Okay. Just go with, uh, with your blue one. I mean the blue one, sorry. The white one, huh? The white one. And just maintain that. I wanted to check what you double check about. Like, yeah, just, just, just maintain, ma maintain slight pressure on the blue one. 
So the way that I do it is that um, I'm constantly going with the red and then the, so my, my green it. one, I go a little below because it's uh, proportional. Gotcha. So your, yours is going to be relatively easy. You're going to pretty much go in and then catch because it's going to land right there. You're doing good. Hold it. Let me scoot mine over. Let me scoot mine over. You see how I'm scooting mine over little by little? Yeah. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it, hold it. All right, let's slow, let's slow with that one. Good job. Hold it right there. All right, let loose a little bit. Let's see if uh, if it's a uh, it's if it shift the load. No, it's good. <laughs> And it's that easy. Very easy. Good job, spider. Yeah, I know. I know. I have no tension on my lines. And I have no tension on Hulk either. And uh, the container is very straight, meaning that the load didn't shift, so it'd be safe to tow. Oh, you guys get a relatively big picture how uh, how um what a a hair turn pin that is for a tractor trailer that's speeding and that has tire failure